Before you know it, the spring market will be here. But before we get to that point, let's talk about January of 2023 versus last year in January 2022. Now, earlier this week, I posted a video about the fact that one in four homes in Halifax are still selling over the asking price. And I did go into some of the January stats in that video. But in this video, I'm going to take a deeper dive into all the stats as a whole in HRM. And I'm going to give you a full market update. So getting right into it. So far this year, we've had 198 sales in HRM, which is down 25% from this time last year. And these sales sold for just under $520,000, which is also down this year about 5.8% from this time last year in January. And the current inventory is right around 2.75 months, which is about three and a half times compared to what we had in January of 2022. And to put that into perspective, last year in January, we had under 200 houses on the market in HRM. And now this year, we're sitting right around 530 to 550 homes on the market currently. Now, before I dive a little bit deeper into the real estate stats, if you like this content and you're getting any value out of this video, please hit the like and subscribe to my channel channel and that'll help push this out to more people like you who might want to see this type of content and if you want to book a call with me anytime to chat about the Halifax real estate market whether you're buying or selling or just curious you can do that anytime in the calendar link below in my description at a time when it's convenient for you so those are the basic stats of what's going on in Halifax. But the real question is, what does that mean for you guys, the buyers and the sellers? Well, if you're looking to buy, it's a lot better this year than it was last year. And like my video said that I posted earlier this week, one in four homes are still selling over the asking price and 38% of homes are selling for the asking price or higher. So just know if you're looking to buy a home, it is much better. But the reality is you're still very likely to face competing offers out there, depending on what you're looking for and what price range and what neighborhood and so on. Now for sellers, your home might not sell in four days with 20 offers on the table like it would have last January, but that doesn't mean we still can't get you a solid price for your home. Now in January, the average sale to list price ratio was about 98%. So this very much in line with how we finished out in 2022. We were hovering right around 98 to 100 percent of the asking price on average for the last four or five months last year leading into 2023. Now new listings coming to the market was up about 8.8 percent. We had just over 300 listings hit the market in January in HRM which I was really surprised this was up from last year. Now obviously the inventory was much lower last year than it is this year but the crazy thing is it was such a good time to sell last January that I'm really surprised that this number was high this year than it was last year. Even though I know we have more inventory now, it just seems like when it was really hot, there should have been more listings coming to the market if people were looking to unload their property. And the last item I'm going to talk about is the number of showings. So in January, we had about six and a half showings per listing on average. Now that is way down. Last year, we had about three times that at 23 showings per listing. So again, very different and a lot less buyer activity in the market this January compared to 2022. So to recap, from last year to this year, what's really different? Well, everything to be honest. First off, prices are down, sales are down, and inventory is about three and a half times the amount that we had this time last year. There's a lot less buyer activity in the market, which is no surprise based on the eight interest rate hikes in a row that we've seen from the Bank of Canada. And even though one in four homes is still selling over the asking price, there are a lot less competing offer situations on the table in HRM compared to this time in January, where pretty much every house was selling in a weekend over asking with about 20 or 30 offers. So that's it. That's your overall look at January of 2023. Now it's only one month of data. So I'm not kind of too panicked one way or the other of what this means for the market going forward for the whole year of 2023. And these things are very specific to each neighborhood, property type, price point, and so on. So if you are curious to hear about what's happening in your specific neighborhood, don't hesitate to reach out because this is just for HRM as a whole. This is just an overview. So each neighborhood is different and there's a lot of variables that are going into the results right now in the market. So don't hesitate to reach out to me through my calendar link in the description if you have any questions. Now, if you're still here and you got any value out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and that'll help make sure you don't miss any of my future content. And it'll also help push this out to more people like you that might be interested in seeing content like this about the Halifax real estate market. And if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and have a great day.